friends, and welcome to Take Two for this Wednesday, the 10th of January, 2024. I'm Jeannie. I'm so glad that you've decided to come along for the ride today. Now, this is my very first Take Two for this new year. Last week, we had sickness and all sorts of things going on, uh, the end of the holidays and all that. So I was unable to do a Take Two as hard as I tried. It was one of those crazy, crazy weeks. But I'm here now, and I'm here with hopefully something that's going to encourage you and help you to come into 2024. You know, I, every month, the last Friday of every, uh, the first Friday of every month, excuse me, our church ladies get together and we usually meet at Barnes and Noble or somewhere else and we'll have coffee together and we just visit and talk and that kind of thing and uh, just have a wonderful time of fellowship with each other. And we had our first gathering for the new year and one of the gals in the group, Kimmy is her name, she said to out loud, she said, okay, ladies, what's your word for the year? And I said, what do you mean, Kim? And she said, what's your new word for the year? What is the word that is going to carry you through the year? And I said, well, what do you mean? She said, well, pick a word that has some kind of meaning, significance, and let that be your word that you just kind of meditate on and think about throughout the entire year. You'd be amazed how helpful that is. And without even thinking about it, just blurted out of my mouth, I said, okay, Kimmy, my word for 2024 is progress. That is going to be my word. And I took out my day timer, even though this was a few days after the uh, uh, first of the year, it was like whatever, it would have been the fifth of the year. I, I grabbed my day timer and I wrote on January 1, I wrote the word progress. And I thought, okay, well, if that's going to be my word, then I have to find practical ways to implement progress into my life for 2024. So uh, what's the best way to progress with anything? Well, you got to start with some sort of plan. Well, for me, starting with a plan means starting with lists. So, of course, I get out my pen and I get out some paper or my notebook and I start making lists of things that I need to do in order to progress through the year. I have so many projects slated for 2024, and I want to make sure that I make progress with every single one of them. But here's another thing, boys and girls. Even though I will make my lists and I will do my best to make progress, I'm not going to beat myself up if I get to the end of the year and I haven't uh, completed these projects, but I do know that I will definitely make progress because that is what I am focused on for 2024. So here's my word to you, boys and girls. Go ahead and make, get your word, get your word for the year, okay? Write it down and ask yourself, how can I implement this word into my life to make, have a good end, Okay, so here's what I found for me. I make my lists. I already started making lists, and then I already started doing some implementation of the things on my list, and here it is only a handful of days later, five days later, and I'm already making progress <clears throat> with at least one of my projects. Actually, I've just started on a second one. So get yourself a word. Make yourself some lists and then ask yourself the question, how can I implement these things so that I could fulfill my word for 2024? Now you go out and be a blessing to somebody today because you know what? You may end up being the only one who is. Maybe encouragement is your word for the year. Who knows? Find practical ways that you can be that encourager. Make a list if you have to. You know, uh, I think I'll uh, make sure that I call at least uh, uh, a friend once a month or once a week to be an encouragement or send a text or whatever it might be. Okay? Make your little lists and then go out and do those things. And listen, don't forget, hey, here's something you might want to do for 2024 that maybe you haven't done already, and that is subscribe to this YouTube channel, okay? And 
And uh, you do that by going on YouTube and looking me up, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit the subscribe button, that notification bell, and I will notify you every time another Take Two is premiering, okay? And also, don't forget, please tune in to my program on Ultimate Oldies Radio every Saturday at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, AM and PM, through the eyes of a New York woman. And you can also hear uh, a replay of that same program on Sundays at 4 East, uh, uh, four Central, 5 Eastern, AM and PM. All right, you be blessed. Have a wonderful 2024. And listen, if you'd like to share your word with me, please leave it in the comments. Or if you're watching this on uh, Facebook, make sure you get post a comment there too. I would appreciate hearing from you. I'd love to hear from you. Happy New Year, everybody. I love you all very much and make some progress. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.